Hello everyone, this is the fifth installment of the fourth attempt at Wally Stalin series. I did some playing offline. Um, basically, I did nothing much, just uh, let the timer running, let the game running. Uh, I've researched several not so important focuses, like maybe two. Uh, and now I'm researching Komsomol, which will allow me to put in additional posture there. <laughs> and meanwhile, I didn't do any offensive operations during my offline session. But Germans, they attacked relentlessly and uh, it ended up with them having like zero manpower now. So, I guess the timing is good now for us to uh, get some offensives of our own, get them going, and uh, I am moving Zhukov back to, front, to the front lines. Uh, these are the storm divisions, they should be... What? They should be really like um, useful, yeah. In that, in our attempts to attack. Also, I'm training some divisions. Not sure if it's a good idea because we can may maybe upgrade these. Yeah, and uh, artillery. Reserves uh, dropping, yeah. But this should be enough for us to execute in the overall offensive. I don't. Yeah, I find with that. Okay, Zhukov. Zhukov's not in position yet. Okay, now some of the divisions are in positions, and as you can see, planning bonuses are. Rising, I will not I will not execute any uh, bonuses uh, buttons because well it's perfectly fine for us to wait. These aces um, uh, messages are really annoying. You know. Okay, we are making some progress in aerial combat because we are getting more fighters, more of their fighters than they're getting of our fighters. Nice. We have agility and air attack higher. These are the maybe most important stats. So, I, I'm i thinking that maybe, okay, uh, we now have artillery, let's research some field hospitals, and we can maybe upgrade some our commanders, and what's that, air doctrine, nice. Um, the last one. So Zhukov can now advance and let's help him with our, our other troops. Okay, okay logistics company. Where is it? Yeah, let's research the next one. And also, since we now have a logistics company, let's maybe add them to everything. So what we can do is we can maybe... What signal company does? Signal company is probably not that important here. Yeah. Uh, 
let's get let's get the six company instead for everything. And maybe remove artillery. Ah, we already don't have enough experience. Okay. No worries. Alright. So it seems that we are getting some successes. So we m maybe we, we might even try to get air superiority on this front as well. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Yeah. All right. So, come on. Shook off. Yeah, that's because um, Germany drained off its manpower. I don't know why. And why they should have moved to more restrictive more strict conscription laws much more early and <laughs> they are just dying because their manpower is exhausted. I don't know. It seems that there are some issues with AI which are rather basic in nature. I don't know why. The game is like six year old and it's constantly under development. I don't know why they can't fix this elementary stuff. All right, so consumer good factor is minus two. Let's do that. Yeah. We need. Uh, so as you can see, when we fixed our issues with supply, and we can now what eighty two percent. Rook of us eighty three percent. Eighty percent. Nice. Um, we will not maybe. Attack here, and maybe we should. I don't know. And we should, yeah. Let's try. Oh no, it doesn't look good at all. It's not. Well, these messages they are pretty annoying. They are not advancing anything in the game. I don't know why I keep. Having them. Okay, we uh, can we make some decisions? Yeah, we can. Research speed, research speed. We don't need that. We don't need that. Well, this is important, but not really. Not not now. Railway construction speed. Yeah, that's nice. Because we are upgrading our railways. So as you can see, the front lines basically broken. Uh, let's draw some more offensive lines, maybe till this mountain. So I have uh, what? I forgot where where do I have the mountain troop? Um, yeah, here. Oh, they yeah. are. I see now. Okay. So. Zhukov, go ahead. Yeah. So maybe let's um, upgrade some of the divisions. We will now have issues with artillery, right? Yeah, we do. Um, okay, no problem. Oh, it's green now. 
Ah, no, it's something else. Okay. So, um, the issue with Germans is that they don't just don't have enough in power to fill in their divisions properly. And they have some tanks, but not enough to stop the, wave, the human waves of Soviet soldiers. Yeah. So we're losing somewhere, but mostly we're winning and advancing. It's all good. Very low supplies. Zhukov suffering a bit. 78%, 76%, but it's fine, I guess. That's a great railroads. Okay, so it seems that our limited experts poli I also have changed to limit experts the policy that we had. And uh, it, it really leaves space for itself because everyone's trading with us now and what happened? So how I switched on the night day night and day Somehow I switched on the night and day stuff and to fix it back. Oh shit. What uh, game is it here? Come on. No, who plays with that? It's, it's super annoying. Okay, there are some pockets, but I think actually let's have Zhukov attacking at the more narrow pocket. Oh, we've got Berlin. Just like that, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, I guess. So, I guess we need to advance with these guys as well. I'm thinking maybe I'm thinking maybe involve mountain troops as well. They are not really experienced but this should be fine. So we can deploy them on on a pretty wide what the on a pretty wide front line like this let's change their color so they will be I don't understand what the hell is going on so let's deploy them on a pretty wide oh my god I forgot the controls so let's do it like this yeah and defensive line here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. So I know that we're losing here, but I don't care much, yeah, because mo sooner or later everything will crumble. And so let's. We don't need that much of new divisions and we need artillery. So it seems that we are getting some issues with advanced 
is that number four advanced? Yeah. Some stupid movements. We have three military factories, it's because of the occupation. Um, I'm thinking that artillery is probably the biggest issue. Let's boost up its production. And we have some unassigned divisions, nice. So some guys already have 30 divisions, okay. So we are mostly losing now. But it's not that big of a deal. No, not here and here. Because it just won't be able to boost them in power in time and we will just green through. Manpower, even if they're losing, they're losing, we can afford to lose like three persons, three soldiers per day, one soldier, and we will still be winning because they don't have enough manpower. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we have some rubber issues. Let's fix them. Actually, we need to get on with. Let's boost some of the supply hubs. Yeah, like this. And also let's build some some of the refineries. It's really important because you know, who knows what will happen with our supplies, right? Um, they can be captured by Japan and this will lead to some difficulties. I guess I can build it near the front line because it's certain, it's certain that Germany now crumbles and yeah. So no, let's first build maybe the railways and then refineries. Oh, well, we can drop our minion trade. So I'm keen to expand our rubber production. And then I will continue with military factors. Okay, we are not winning everywhere, but it's I guess it's fine. Zhukov is not happy with something, but he's not happy with what? Divisions still preparing. Well, they prepared enough, in my opinion, and I am. I'm thinking you should advance further. Okay, Mr. Zhukov. All right. The time has come for us to think about occupation policies. So German Reich. It has what? We only have two divisions now, but I'm, I'm guessing in the future we will need much, much more. So first of all, let's uh, upgrade our garrison division to the most efficient form of, of the division template. All the cavalry, yeah, like this. Yeah. Oh, actually, let's upgrade all the everything to. And 
este yeah like this because logistics it seems is the most important okay we can switch oh we can actually research everything here right nice up with the air. Seems that we are done here, right? Let's move planes. There's too much of them here. Oh, look at them. They are like super good. Cover everything, okay. Yeah, the air uh, resistance completely broken. Seems so. Zhukov, are you happy? No, yeah, you're happier than you used to be, it seems. So, yeah, uh, let's. Uh, fix this we only have nine divisions here so what we can do is we can move this fresh army let's maybe get some of these upgrade them a bit Only these. Yeah. We have, we have huge artillery issues. It's not good. Yeah, and. Uh, but since we will not be training anything now, it should be fine. And put them. Put them here. Line here, yeah. Okay. Come on, I understand you're new, you're inexperienced, but should be fine. Okay, let's not train anything anymore because we have what five million army now. It's enough. Excavation four, nice. Yeah, let's use the excavation five as well. And as for actually, what we need is we need uh, this. armored cars, and we need um, a huge amount of these armored cars because we need to change our question division to armored cars instead of infantry, so that we want. Have uh, big losses in the future due to the occupation. So let's build a lot of them. Our artill artillery situation is like not great at all, but well, we will manage, I guess. Have some free dockyards. Yeah. Well, let's build some more submarines, shall we? Production, escape, and loading fault. All right. So I have some of the. Some. I have command power, but I don't know where to spend it. Okay, and um, these Denmark lands, they are like crumbling, 
nicely. So yeah, it seems that the tactics of not using tanks, but just using infantry with artillery paid for itself nicely. Okay, great, we have collaboration government now. So, maybe it's the time has come for us to, to spy on United Kingdom and on United States. The United States will be our next enemy. I'm thinking. <laughs> so by the end of 40th, the year 43, 1943, I expect Germany to crumble. Completely and factor at both three percent. Oh, that's nice, but I'm thinking maybe we can do better. So, lessons of war, yeah, maybe we need that. Yeah, we're doing good. No man, still no man power for Hitler. I don't know why. That's <laughs> so stupid. Why did you end up with man power? And Denmark is capitulating, it seems. All right, what we can do? We can maybe move some of them. So we don't need this border anymore. And these guys, we don't need you as well, we can delete all the orders. Yeah. And use them as Army, yeah, something like that. Here and there. Yeah. What's up with the supplies? Oh, that's everything is peachy. Nice. Yeah. So I'm thinking this new supply me mechanic is not really, they, it, it's better I guess than what it used before, but still there is some, there is some room, definitely some room for improvement. So how are you doing? Everything is scrambling, nice, nice. Yeah. And what's with the German? Okay, let's uh, move Zhukov to actually. <laughs> actually, no. Actually, let's keep him here. But just, just. Just the front line a bit like this, and the offensive line will be here to Munich. Yeah. Sure, let's wait for Zhukov to. up some of the 
planning bonuses. I will even boost, boost, boost them. Boost uh, planning. Okay. What's up with the plans? Yeah, let's fix them. So we we may maybe need to move some of them here. Where? Here maybe. And you know, here. And this can go here. And maybe here. Yeah, everything's green. And let's move this here. And here. Rubber processing, nice. Okay, so um, we maybe need to start with to get on with tanks because production capacity won't be an issue anymore, and we might we may deploy armored troops yeah. so basically the game is like mopping up face even now I th I'm thinking because it's in mopping up face because um, I don't think United States or England will offer m much of a much of a resistance because what, what can they do Okay, our allies are st starting to encroach on Germany now. Nice. Okay, Zhukov, let's go. Okay. Uh, some border go here. We may ignore it. It's, uh, no importance, I'm thinking. I'm th I guess uh, artillery. We're losing artillery in great quantities because of the of these defensive operations. Okay, some issues here because we didn't look for the. So I guess we need to move them, this up carefully. It's no issues because it's of no concern because we can supply using using ports and we won't be supply uh, hungry here. Yeah, and we are winning everywhere. So okay, we uh, we've reached our offensive. Line. So let's draw some new lines. This and Zhukov. How are you doing? Okay, come on. This. Okay, lessons of war, nice. And uh, where was it? Yeah, we can maybe partisans, we don't need that. And we're in recovery. Yeah, probably this is more interesting. Um, what well, already? So let's boost armored car production. Twenty-five. Okay, the last one. We can actually try to research new fighter as well. 
even though it's next year technology, we can, we can, I guess we can do that. Have a lot of. Okay, just mop, the, uh, mop, mop everything up. I guess I should edit it like this. I'm thinking maybe let's move Zhukov again. Mm -hmm. Let's maybe move Zhukov to the northern part of the front. We need him to get there. To get there cost yeah. okay who's here These uh, divisions, they are also stormtroopers. Let's use them. Who are you? Mr. Vasilevsky, yeah. So, what we can do is we can maybe. Production is like huge. We have what? Nice. All right. Um, I guess that's enough of uh, interval armored cars. Um, now it's built. Maybe close air support. And some fighters. And some bombers. We need them. We need them to control Asia lands and American lands. So I'm thinking about capturing all the planet. Yeah. All right, Germany has capitulated. They've got only what fifty percent of the equipment. Yeah, still not bad. Mm -hmm. So let's check what's happening. Yeah, we still still need to move up the rest of Axis in Europe. And then we will probably switch sides and move to attack England and France. 
yeah, and British Raj and all these miners yeah and Japan I don't think they will declare on us because well oh we can send it a share let's do that maybe but do we, do we even need that much experience probably not and we need common power yeah we need it to execute uh, offensive stuff like that all right um, so Isn't it nice? That's because we've prepared a collaboration government and now we can access the manpower and uh, we have huge compliance already. Nice. Uh, and, and another thing is that that great for now but the resistance will keep growing and yeah so armored cars uh, how much do we need to oh we can already start switching nice It's not because the suppression is better, but uh, it it like decreases uh, the losses and quite significantly, uh, like maybe by fifty percent or something, because of the hardness of the division. So we maybe need some more fighters, yeah. think of anything other than submarines you know. so and also the other time has come to probably build some dockyards uh, aluminium come on Yugoslavia give us some aluminium how come Yugoslavia is trading with us it's interesting did they revol revolt oh they they were never in war at the first place nice Nice for you, Yugoslavia. Okay, and rubber. Certainly, there are some rubber countries. Yeah. Nice. So let's boost our refinery construction. We need to be completely independent of rubber. have a lot of uh, refineries because um, Japan can declare and it won't be it won't be great so um, we have some empty front lines here we need to cover them as soon as possible I guess that's what we'll, we will do during our next segment meanwhile I guess I guess we can call it a day for now yeah. So thanks everyone. Nice progress. We are getting closer to the victory over all Axis countries. We broken Germany like completely. 
and these guys they from they probably won't offer much resistance because we have huge air superiority and everything will be bombed to the oblivion yeah um, what else um, I wanted to check something oh close air support yeah we have healthy surplus of close close air support and we have a healthy surplus of fighters now already uh, so yeah we need to research next type of fighters the 1944 one yeah and we have MiG-15 yeah nice Jet fighters, yeah, that's, that's cool. They have actually they have issues with range, yeah. No, oh, they don't. They don't have any issues. Actually, no, they, they have huge range. Nice. Let's upgrade our resources production. So yeah, good things. Good things to come. So we will not maybe declare on on United Kingdom right away. We will spend some time to regroup and to build uh, tank divisions and mobile infantry divisions. Or oh, maybe we'll, we'll declare it away, I don't know. We also need to have some landing capabilities. It will take some time to research as well. Meanwhile, we can capture maybe Finland and Sweden. Yeah. Didn't you capitulate, German Rake? I don't understand. Alright, thanks everyone. Actually, let's justify. On Finland right away. We need Finland to be submitted to go you know, to get this part of German Reich, which is capitulated but still have territories. I don't know why it happened. All right, thanks everyone. Have a nice day.